Hello everyone, this is Bowtie Daniels and welcome back to another episode here on the Logical Geek Boy server. I have some loud neighbors today with these gas all around here making some noise in my intro. So in the last episode we went ahead and we worked on building this nether tunnel uh, leading into my base area. So I haven't done any work on this. Actually I don't think I've been on the server to be able to do anything since the last episode. I've had a pretty busy schedule. But let's get back to the overworld and we'll go over what we're going to do today. Okay, so in today's episode, uh, this might be a little bit of a shorter episode. It's going to be a bit more chill, a bit more relaxed. Uh, I want to work on this area right here, and I just want to make a nice dock coming from, you know, somewhere around here and out into the water. And I have an idea of the kind of dock that I want to make. Um, I'm going to, to actually be building something roughly from memory of a place that I've actually been to, a, a place that I used to really enjoy going to for work, but sadly, I got a new job and I don't get to travel there anymore, so I want to kind of recreate that here. And, uh, I, like I said, I got a little design in mind for that, so I got to collect a couple of resources. So I need some spruce trees, because uh, I don't think I have enough wood to do this. Let's, uh... Let's double check my wood, su wood supplies here, and in here, okay, uh, oh, maybe I do have enough spruce, okay, so we can use that, and I'll grab a couple more things, I need the planks, or the slabs, and uh, once I have everything kind of situated, I will get back to you. Okay, so there we are, I have uh, all the supplies that I think I need, plus a few extra ones, not sure. Uh, if I really need everything I have, but I thought I would just take it with me just in case. So the first thing I need to do is get those bows, uh, uh, boats out of there. And let's just set up a shulker box to keep some of this extra stuff that I don't need. I went mining, uh, and I did not need to take everything with me. So let's just put away these boats. I guess I did play a little bit after uh, the last episode. It's been so busy I can't keep track of things lately. Uh, anything else I need to dump in here? No, that looks good. So. Now, we are playing in 1.12.2, so that does make this a little bit more of a challenge since we're not going to be able to play around with using waterlogged blocks, so in case you don't remember, yeah, that, that doesn't look too great. So I want to avoid this, so we're going to be uh, uh, avoiding using anything that would be uh, waterlogged in 1.13. So I want to have... Dock. Should, should it line up right here at the front of the house? I know I want this to kind of be like a low area, so the dock would actually be coming more out from like here. So let's just, oops, that's not what I want. Torch, get out of the way. And these are just going to be some temporary blocks while I go ahead and get some slabs in. So one, two, and three. And let's go ahead and get rid of these now that I don't need them. And always pick up your blocks when you're done making a mess. So yeah, this area is going to get slabbed up uh, over here. And I might do a little bit of an elevation change and do some of this a little bit higher. And then work our way down to these slabs as part of the dock. Not entirely sure how I want that part to go yet, but what I do know is I want to just keep taking this out for a bit, and I'm not sure how much I want to go, so let's see. Let's just get an idea of how many slabs do I really have on me, so maybe... Maybe I'll go out that far. And I still have another 64 up here. Let's start with doing uh, 25 out. And that's, and that's a nice little tip there. If you want to, like build something but you don't want to count how far you're going you can always just perfectly space out how many that you need and then you can do what I'm doing here I'm talking and placing blocks at the same time and I don't have to really keep track of what I'm doing because I know once I run out of blocks I hit the distance that I wanted to go to so here we are just got more blocks to go and we are good so now I just need to make uh, make my way back and this might be a little bit further than I really wanted to go we'll see We'll see. It's not a big deal to uh, get rid of this and shorten it back down later on if we really need to or want to. So, uh, what's going on today? Now, I am recording this today the day of the first 
14 snapshot and that thing looked pretty cool. I have yet to actually play it because I wanted to come on and do this recording first. Uh, so I probably won't get to play it until, you know, if I stay up late enough tonight. Uh, or maybe tomorrow, depending on when I get my editing done for this video. But I may not even get to play it until Friday. And then I gotta decide if I'm gonna do a recording for that on Monday, uh, for Monday or not over the weekend. But I've been talking about it all day, hanging out in the Logical Geek Boy uh, Patreon server. Yeah, this, this is looking like a pretty good size. I might bring it in a little bit to like here. So let's just put something as a, uh, whoops, as a marker, just to keep kind of track of things. So yeah, we've been talking about it all day in the server. We're all pretty excited, pretty hyped up about it. Um, yeah, this is, this is looking pretty good. So I really want to go check that out. But like I said, I wanted to do this first. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these extra blocks. We don't need them. We don't need them. It looked right where it was, and we can always extend it later on if we need to. Same as, you know, what I said before, except the exact opposite. All right, that's all taken care of. That's good. Let's get down here and take these blocks. Where'd they go? Is that all of them? I don't know. I didn't keep track of it. Uh... Let's do a quick hitbox. I'm not seeing anything here. Ooh, hello, nasties. We got a cave address. So I got to go down and light that up. So yeah, 114. The snapshots are coming out now, and it's uh, it's looking pretty cool. I'm really excited for that. We got the villager beast, uh, which that just looks insane. It looks absolutely crazy. Uh, oh, I should have made some stairs. Let's make some stairs real quick. Uh, and the crossbow. I was playing around with that, and the kind of. Uh, uh, Oh, I need more planks first in uh, uh, Bedrock, and I did a little video on that. So if you haven't checked it out, you should definitely go take a little sneak peek at that. Um, yeah, I know it's not Java. I know, but it's okay. You can still take a look at it. It's not going to hurt you. Um, and yeah, I was playing around with the crossbow in that video, and oh my god, that's just a lot of fun. So I really want to test it out on Java and see how... Can I, can I get up here, please, and see if it works the same way? Um, how come I was able to get up before, but not now? Hopefully it still works the same way from the videos that I've seen. It, it, it does. Can I please just let me up? There we go. Perfect. So I'm excited to test that out. And we're going to have some blocks right here. And these are just temporary blocks while I... Uh, goodbye. While I get some stairs in. So we'll have a nice little elevation change there like that. We'll grab these. Now, do I want to do upside down stairs here so it looks all right from the side? I th think that might be a good idea. Or, well, we'll try a couple things first. Let's get rid of this block. I should have gotten that taken care of before I hopped into the water and came back out. All right, so if I do maybe a little of this and have it so there's some elevation change like that and we're still keeping the same size. Um, I think that will look okay because the other option is get back out to place down some of these stair slab or not stair slabs stair blocks and from the side I think that's gonna look oh, it actually doesn't look bad I was worried about it looking a little too blocky and not being you know uniform I th think I'm gonna stick with the slabs I feel like that's probably the better option here. Top back up. Uh, and, you know, I'm gonna just build this out. But there's a lot of things I am really just looking forward to in, in 114. When I first heard about it at Minecon Earth, I, I wasn't too crazy about it. I thought it was gonna be like, okay. Um, I, I, I really did think we needed an update for villagers. So that is. Uh, uh, that was definitely welcome, but, you know, overall I was just kind of underwhelmed, especially after getting just the amazing update that we had last year with 113, you know, the, the update aquatic, that was just so cool. Uh, yeah, we'll start bringing it out over this way. And, you know, I knew, you know, 113 was going to be awesome. Everyone knew 113 was awesome. Anyone that said it was going to be a terrible update, well, they're... I'm not going to say it because it probably wouldn't be nice to say such things. But anyways, um, that's how I felt about 114. I didn't think it was going to be great. And then today, oh God, today I saw the change log and just everything that was included in there. Uh, you know, this might be too much of a dock area. We'll see. And 
then there was a bunch of unannounced features in there. I'm like, oh my God, this is just like, like uh, uh, amazing. Just so many things we didn't even think of or, or ask for. And I know they tease that in some of their, uh, their tweets and things. I, f I follow a bunch of the de uh, devs on Twitter after I was given a little push and shove to, whoops, to, to get on Twitter more and promote myself on there. So I went ahead and I joined that and I've been, uh, uh, you know, paying attention to the devs, you know, Dinnerbone, uh, Lady Agnes, Jeb, um, Rock and Roll for Life. I like, <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit of a rock and roll guy, so I like that username. Uh, you know, and, and seeing what's going on in there. So they've been kind of teasing some uh, some stuff that would be happening. So, hmm. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know. We'll have to play around with it and see. I might actually need to bring the land up a little bit. I don't know. But, yeah, so, you know, they, they kept saying there was going to be some new features, some things we didn't even think of or consider or, or expect, and they, they definitely uh, delivered. So I'll probably end up doing a video on that in the near future. Uh, and if I plan it out right, I'll uh, hopefully have that released on Monday. So be sure to keep an eye out for that. And I think just bringing this out a little bit more, maybe. And maybe another row right here, like so. Sorry, lily pad, you're not in the place that I want you to be. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and I have one left. Do I have a good place to put this one? I don't think so. We'll leave that as is for now. So, hmm. All right, I think we're off to a good start. I want to play around with a couple more things. Um, so let me get a feel for a few things, and I'll catch back with you in just a second. So I modified the design here a little bit. I gave some more space in this area. I really wanted a little bit of a level change and I knew one thing that I wanted was to have the slabs come like halfway up to the dirt in some spots and then move up. Uh, so I went for that and pushed everything back. I think it was, what, originally like two blocks or maybe three blocks. So I put it back another couple blocks. I added this in back here too and I dropped this all down. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I, I like the idea that, you know, oh, there's a little dip down and then you come up. Uh, elevation change is important. I really don't have a lot in this area. So I might build this up a little bit with, uh, with some dirt. Um, I might bring this out a little bit more. And then maybe I'll just have this uh, dirt path come down and turn into an actual path leading off uh, like this. I would just be like, okay, you know, up here. And somewhere along the way, like it, it, it comes back up for for an elevation change. Now I I, I I don't know. I just gotta play around and and see what I think. Um, I'm gonna come back to this side. I want to work on this side first. I feel as I do more over here, I may get more ideas of what I want to do over here. The dock that uh, I used to hang out at when I would travel for work. Uh, wasn't, you know, a traditional, like, wood sort of dock that, you know, you're, you're seeing in movies and things, uh, uh, depending on where you're from. Uh, you know, I live in the U.S., so a lot of our docks are just these, these wooden, uh, uh, docks held up by logs and, you know, support beams and things like that. Uh, not really too often have I seen concrete docks, although I see them more being used for piers. Now, the place that I'm basing this off of is actually an island, and... The island does tend to get hit with a lot of storms and things and, and hurricanes since it is in the Caribbean. So a lot of their structures that go out into the water like this are actually supported using you know concrete and stone and, and stuff like that. And you know this is not the exact kind of blocks I would want to use, but right now we're in 112, so this is what I got to work with. And you know it's pretty close to the design that um, I would use if I was in a different version, and it looks pretty similar to what it is. So it has these, you know, cement pillars that come up to the side and kind of uh, hook into it that the dock lays on top of. Uh, now, it'd be really nice if we had the trap doors of 113. Uh, I think you get to make this like a little bit more, a little bit more raggedy like it would be. Oh, hello, Pigman. Um, yeah, because it's not, <laughs> it's not the most uh, secure dock in the world. Like you walk onto it and then you kind of wobble back and forth and uh, you really do have to worry about possibly falling through. You know, some of the wood on there is pretty old um, or it's been pretty beaten up by, you know, the last storm that came through and uh, it may be a little moldy or a little, not moldy, um, a little bit uh, 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 rotting from, 
you know, the storm, so the, the structure of the wood isn't always the best. Sometimes there is actually just, uh, like, planks of, of wood, and you step onto the plank of wood, and, and when I say plank, I mean something more like a, a sheet of plywood, something like that, and you'll step onto the wood, and it just brings you down a couple of inches, because it's uh, uh, not necessarily giving out, but it's, it, it is giving a little bit under your, your, your weight, so it's not... The, uh, the best thing in the world. But the water there is not very deep, and it's in the, uh, uh, what, what ocean is that? The Caribbean Sea? So, if you're familiar with the Caribbean Sea at all, then you would know that the water is pretty, pretty calm, uh, pretty, pretty mild most of the time. I mean, there are some spots where it could be a bit crazier, uh, especially if there's storms and things coming. That will uh, certainly impact it. There we go. And let's get back up and get some... Oh, no, I'm doing pretty good with air, but I don't know. This, the server is a little bit laggy sometimes, so I don't always trust how much air I have. Okay, we got that. Got our breath back up. Let's clean up some of these blocks that I incorrectly placed. So, yeah. Um, I, I would do a little bit more to create that. I'm not sure how I would do it, though. I played around with adding in some trap doors to kind of make it look a little less secure, a little less safe. Um, didn't quite give the effect that I wanted, so uh, we'll, we'll play around and we'll see what we can come up with. Uh, and this will grow and evolve as we continue to work on it. So, and I'm really happy with using slabs here because I don't have to worry about lighting it up. So since they're all bottom half uh, slabs, no mobs can spawn here. And uh, we have not fence posts, but the walls on the side here, mobs can't spawn on that either. So this is a pretty good spawn proof area. Now, we have the cement, well, I'm calling it cement, even though it's not, uh, pillars supporting that part of the dock. But I feel like we might be able to get away with over here using just uh, normal standard wood because this is, you know, more grounded into the, uh, the land here. Come on up. So, you know, it's not just these support pillars keeping it in place, but it's also the uh, the land and the shore. It's closer here. So it's a lot more stable. It's a lot more secure. And you know, that's not the right place for it. I should actually put it here on the corner. So let's get rid of this. Knock out these few blocks here. And now this part of the build is not uh, based on, you know, the actual place that I... Whoops. I don't need that there. The actual place that I've I've been to, um, basically that dock, it just goes straight from the sand into this 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 little pathway that comes out. So uh, this is my own sort of design now that we're working on here. Yeah, let, let's still just move this over, and then I might extend this side out a little. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, a good way so, uh, sometimes to make things not look too artificial or too fake, which which can really easily happen when you're playing Minecraft, uh, is by, oh, I don't have any more stairs, is by purposely making something, you know, asymmetrical. So a lot of people just have the tendency to be very symmetrical with their, their builds and to make everything all nice and perfect and neat and organized. And sure, that that's nice and all, but uh, where's Spruce? Are you Spruce? Yeah, you're Spruce but it can look really kind of forced or really kind of fake. So, you know, everyone always works in the, these, uh, why did I make so many stairs? I didn't need so many stairs. Everyone always likes to work in, in odd numbers and they want to make sure they have a center to everything and that it's all nice and, and perfect, but that's not how real life is. It, it, it isn't always that way. Um, and I feel like that's like some deep philosophical conversation I'm getting into here now like life is not always the way you would think it's going to be it's different and it's challenging and such uh how about if I cheat can I just do that there yeah that was like my dad voice I guess but I'm not a dad so practice maybe eh, I don't know uh so if I do that I feel like this block should not be here those, do one of those. Let's just take a step back. 
Yeah, not bad, not bad. It kind of caps it off like this end has a slab and that end has a slab. Uh, let's just make it a stair and see if that looks any better. You know, just, just a bunch of little tweaks. Sometimes something... Yeah, I think that... Yeah, I think that is better. Uh, oh, that was a stair. I just put it on wrong. There we go. Okay. So that's good. Now let's take another step back. Even though it was a small change, you know, just taking step backs and looking. So, you know, everything is kind of matchy, but it's not exactly like we don't have these pillars right here and here where you would expect them to be. And, you know, these line up. That's fine. And then you get over here and there's no like symmetry here or no symmetry there. So there's consistency throughout the build in terms of, you know, I have a space of two and a space of two and a space of two there and then a space of two there and there's a space of two there. Um, and I'm keeping like my pathway that I'm walking three. So there's one, two, three and one, two, three. So there's consistency about, uh, although this isn't consistent here, but I think that works out okay. Um, yeah, so just, you know, doing little things like that. And I really don't know what I'm going to do with this area. I'm not, I'm not too thrilled with it. And it's not perfectly symmetrical. It's not perfectly even everywhere. So you get some of that, that, uh, break of the the artificial stuff that I was mentioning before so let's, go, let's get some stake here I'm getting a little low all right so that's cool I'm happy with that now I want to do some more details coming in uh, and I think this spot is a good good place for what I want to do next so we gotta think of something else to do in this area um, hmm no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to think on this one. This is this is not a style that I'm used to doing. This is not the way I normally work. Um, so I'm a little bit more indecisive. I'm a little bit less sure of myself on doing this build than I normally am. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it the night. I'm gonna call it a day here. Go get some sleep. Wake up and take a look at this tomorrow. Uh, before I sit down to edit the video and Hopefully I have a good idea that I want to try and attempt at that point in time. Maybe I can work in some more cobble back here That could be something that works Man, this is this is tricky. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with this. I'm not gonna mess with that. I think the best bet is to leave this as is and work on detailing the sides a little bit. Like I can put, you know, something over here. A little design. I can put crates or, or you know, some chests or things over here. Uh, maybe even like a little crane thing over here that would be able to like load up ships and, and, and put stuff down and and so forth. That could work over there. We'll have to see. Yeah, I, I think this is going to be it for the night. Let me go to bed. I'll come back to this with a fresh mind tomorrow. And fingers crossed I have some uh, some new ideas and, and have a better state of mind to look at it. Let's just see what happens with the, with the boat in there for detail. So yeah, that does add, add a little life to it. And the more I look at this, you know, I might get rid of this, this end blank, this end area here. Um, and this tree might be a little too much in the way, but if I, if I, hmm, I could use another tree over here though, like somewhere over here, maybe, I don't want to put a block there, but I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I'm at the point where I'm just kind of rambling, I'm being indecisive, I'm not committing to anything, so, let me go to bed, and I'll come back to this tomorrow. All right, welcome back. Uh, a little bit of time has passed and I've done some off camera work. I figured, you know, I got stuck with the uh, creative block, block? Sure, let's go with that. The creative block block um, last night and, and 
I uh, looked up some things, I scribbled some stuff down in a notepad, and I decided just to come on and start building without like the pressure of recording and, and trying to perform at the same time. So let's uh, let's take a look and see what I've done. Let me switch out of this view and back to this one. So quite a bit has changed here. I think I've brought a lot of life to uh, to this build, so I'm pretty happy with that. So let's start off with what I've done. I've shortened the dock actually. I brought it in, you know, one section. I think that really was the, uh, whoops, right call. And I've added in these trap doors in the front here. Um, I don't know what purpose they are or how they relate to anything in, in real life. They just felt appropriate to put on the front there. Um, so yeah, I put those in. I added in some block variation, mixing in some oak slabs here and there. Uh, replace some of the lily pads that I've broken over my time here put in some some boats to make it look like an actively used dock I've added in some spruce logs in the water as like driftwood in the area um, I put in some logs that are tied down. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about these uh, it, it, It's it's nice, but I Don't know. I gotta I gotta think about that. I may revisit that uh, I added in a very small kind of like retaining wall on the side here and, and over um, coming up here and into the side there. I lowered the slabs down on this section uh, and I'm going to, I guess, make this into a path to come up here. So I'll probably do a little bit of terraforming in the future. Uh, put in some stair blocks there. I added in like this, this loading crane sort of thing. Uh, not the best design in the world, but I wanted to do something that was just really small and tiny, so that worked out pretty well for that. Uh, is there anything else that I've done? Yeah, I just added the uh, the wall design here a little bit more, and I moved the flower up here. I don't think I've I've done too much else. Uh, did I show this off? I don't remember if I showed this off in the last clip or not. So this is you know the the boat rack that I have going on here, and I'm pretty happy with with how this looks. I can just hop into a boat now and let's just uh, take a look at it from the water. I haven't actually gone this far out to see how things look. And we'll come out to our giant slime head. Hey, turn back around and yeah, you know, this this is looking pretty cool. I got to get that portal out of there and, and move that. So maybe that's the next thing I'll, I'll, I'll do in my uh, next episode is move that portal out of the way. But yeah, this, this works. This looks good to me. I still don't have enough of the color variation that I want. Uh, so I gotta still think of how to add in some more color But otherwise, I think this has come together pretty nicely here So let's go ahead and just return this boat back to somewhere in this area. I think is where I had it. Whoops Let's get back out of here and on to our dock So yeah, I think this is where I'm gonna call an episode for today I'm a little bit, you know Taps for for ideas. This did take a, a decent amount out of me. Plus, I'm feeling a little bit sick, so I don't think I can really keep going. But I wanted to make sure I finished recording, so I can go ahead edit this video and try and get it out to you. So, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys. This is Bowtie. Peace out.